beautiful people it's a girl T and I'm back yay and I'm so excited about this video um, I was so excited to be able to get some Camilla D'Errico art reference books uh, and just some um, you know books that show her paintings and different things like that like how she's Paint, uh, coloring or painting, not coloring, but painting her 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 um, her art to help get you know get some inspiration on how I can color her pictures you know a little bit better, not to copy but for inspiration, just to get an idea of the style. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I got three, yay! I'm so excited, guys. Okay, now um, the first one we're gonna take a look at is Pop Manga. Excuse the background noise, I'm gonna have a seat. We'll flip, flip through this book. Okay, so this is how to draw the cutest, coolest, cutest characters, animals, mascots, and more. So I'm actually looking through this with you guys for the first time, so I'm so excited. Um, I'm thrilled to be able to get these books um, at, at almost a steal, okay? So, uh, so we're just gonna look. This is what I'm gonna do, just look. Right now, I just want to see what this, what's in here. Wow. Okay, so she is Canadian. And she's a pop surrealism artist. And her art is very well known. Uh, I mean, very well known throughout the world. And um, so this book here is a drawing book. So how to draw eyes, just different things you can, you know, different ways to draw. Um, and me, I do draw a little bit. Um, actually, I take that back. I had to draw a lot when I, when I was in school. And I'm trying to get back into it, but I'm going to do it for, you know, just fun things like just get in a sketchbook and just sketch stuff. Um, wow, look at all the different ways to do hair. This is so cool. Um, so this is pretty cool. And then it goes in the boys' hairstyles. Putting the face together. I love this step-by-step. -step. It's step-by-step. -step. You get step one, two, three, and four. So this is awesome. Different size ears, <laughs> even an old person's ear, that's cute. So this is a drawing book. Um, you know, I'm just flipping through it with you guys, but I'm gonna take my time, you know, off screen to, to read and um, mark some pages that I wanna experiment on with, so. The birthday suit, drawing the body, drawing hands. Knuckles or fists. This is gonna be interesting to draw. I'm not really good at drawing <laughs> bodies and people and faces. That was one thing I struggled with a lot. So when I see people color I'm drawing these images like this I'm just in awe because I'm like how do they do it because I struggle so much but maybe this book will help me you know you know kind of get better at doing it so and I think too sometimes when you're drawing you're overthinking um, you, you don't have to make it look realistic you can make them look you know cartoonish or anime or whatever it's really up to you but when you're first learning how to do it you kind of overthink these things um, so this is pretty good so cool I love all the um, all of the drawings and the step-by-step. -step. Aging a character, that is so cool. 
Vogue and strike a pose. Drawing action and movement. Clothing. Wow, I love this. Girl with arms crossed. That's so cool. So it does give you the steps. I mean, you can, you know, try to, to follow that step by step to get this result. But me, it wouldn't look anything like this. I'll probably have my legs too long or something like that. But it's all, you know, it's all practice. The more you practice, the better you get. So this is gorgeous. I love that. So again, this is still um, drawing bodies in action. Turn up the cuteness, drawing mascots and chibi. Chibis. Oh, that's so cute. I think these are I like the easiest things to color because you can be so creative with your chibis. <laughs> you can create all types of little chibis. Okay, so it says, she says to her, I love Hello Kitty, love, love, love. I went to Japan by myself and I went crazy in the Hello Kitty store. Honestly, if they sold Hello Kitty toilet paper, I would buy it. So you can imagine how amazed and touched I was when Sanrio bought this painting from me. That is awesome. What an awesome accomplishment. And this is so cute. Love it. So we're still in the chibis. He's a naughty little chibi. <laughs> And then still got them drawing Tampopo as a chibi. Okay, then you have some expressions, different expressions you can try. A different kettle of fish, drawing animals. Wow, this is gorgeous. My goodness. That's the, um, they call it albino boa constrictors, I believe. That's gorgeous. I don't like snakes, but that's pretty. Oh, the baby hippo is so darling, so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, look at the lovebirds, so cute. I love the way she draws, oh my gosh. The unusual suspects, creating characters. That is awesome. Now see, when you're looking at the coloring books, you just don't, unless you've seen her paintings, you don't really know like, like what inspiration to use. I mean, you don't have to do them like this. You, you're, you want to do them your way, but just seeing how she did all one color basically, um, like a monochromatic on this is awesome. She added some green and blue here. Um, and of course, skin tone, but that's awesome. I love that. Okay, again, we have Tom Popo, Red Riding Hood. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> Red Riding Hood is so cute. Big Bad Wolf. And this is gorgeous, too. Headphone Girl. Burn. Helmet Girl. Billy Boom Boom. <laughs> Tinkerbell. That's a cute little Tinkerbell. What's your story? Creating panels, layouts, and covers. So doing thumbnails, reading the script, finishing panels, breaking into the biz. Um, I like this. Drawing a manga cover. This kind of helps you get started drawing your own characters and figuring out how to, um, you know, perfect it. Oh, this is gorgeous. See, it's almost like, to me, it's almost like monochromatic, but she adds, you know, 
a few other colors in there with it. That is gorgeous. Two pens are better than one. Collaborate. Collaboration time. Draw the helmet and the animal. Oh, so this is cool. So she's actually um, leaving space here for me or whoever wants to draw the helmet and the animal for this picture and then drawing the girl for this picture. Wow. Okay, and that is the end of this book. So this is again um, just the drawing, how to draw book by Camilla Dierico. Wonderful, awesome. All right. The next one we're going to take a look at is pop painting. Pop painting. Inspiration and techniques from the pop surrealism art phenomenon. Yes, I would say she is. All right, so let's take a look. Inspiration and techniques from Camilla Erico. Oh my gosh, guys. This book is already. All right, so I'm going to just flip through this. Oh, just looking at these so beautiful. I love it. Look at that. Gives you some inspiration on what, you know, how to color these. Um, oh, look at the ponies. That is so cute. My little pony, my little pony. Whoa, look at that one. <laughs> wow. So basically, this section just like talks about what inspires me, finding inspiration, using intuition, go with your gut. I mean, I think a lot of us colorists um, do kind of go with our gut when we're coloring. Um, but this is, you know, good. And also, this is good um, advice for those people who are actually painting and doing drawing and things like that. So choosing colors intuitively, choosing titles, becoming a better artist, tools of the trade. So she goes over paint, uh, mixing paints. Looks like she's got some glazing liquid there. Drawing tools. Looks like she uses Derwent and Conte. And what is that? Schwartz, Schwartz Black. We have some paint brushes. Of course, she's a painter. Painting surfaces and easels. Selecting your tools. The artist's studio. Oh, wow, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at her palette. I mean, she's got a bunch of colors here. And she just goes with it. I love that. Oh, my goodness. I love what I'm seeing. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I would love to have one of her paintings in my art studio once it's done. I would love it. There are a few um, artists that have done coloring books that I would love to have a print in my studio. Um, white walls with these splashes of vivid color would look so great. Pushing boundaries. That is so cute. I love the bumblebees. Navy blue, bloom, yellow. They're so cute. Wow, guys. I'm, I mean, I've seen her art, you know, pictures of her art, but just looking at this, you know, again, looking at her art again is just gorgeous. Coloring emotion. Expressing your emotional meaning, the power of emotion. Blending. So she's doing blending basics, blending for art, for paint. And I believe she's using acrylic, 
No. I think these are oil paintings. Well, I'm not really sure. I think they might be oil. But anyhow, she's the bomb. She is the bomb. And she's using acrylic too. What on what? Blending backgrounds. Amazing. Light and shadows. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. That is so gorgeous to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. I love that picture. Look at that afro. My God. I love this. All of this. So, um, like, like I stated earlier, I got this, these books to give me some inspiration on how to, you know, color these pictures. Not that I couldn't figure it out, but I just wanted to see what she does. Not to copy, but, you know, just to get some inspiration on how to actually, um, you know, get that same effect that she has, but in my own way. So these are just uh, steps on painting here. Steps on painting works. Wow. Here. Just a nice, really nice book. Love that. Gorgeous. So it looks like she's taking this picture and then she's basically telling you what colors to use. So she's, us she's using Holbein Duo, looks like in here. And she's giving you the color she's using. So if you wanted to try to paint this, you, you know, you can draw it and paint it. I think that's pretty cool. Step by step, to see if you can, you know, make it your own and kind of make it like hers. It's so beautiful. Depth. I love that. Now I'm getting, like, just looking at this book is helping me understand um, more of how to color these and, you know, what they... Like the, I don't know how to describe what I'm saying, <laughs> put to words about what I'm trying to say. Um, the inspiration, like the inspiration is just hitting me. Like, okay, I understand. I understand now. Because, you know, her books can be intimidating if you're not used to um, coloring these uh, kind of pictures. Um, they're so gorgeous, you don't want to mess them up. And then you, you know, you're like, well, I don't even know what... What is it supposed to look like? <laughs> or, you know, what to have like an idea of what it's supposed to look like. So these kind of, these books and references kind of give you some um, inspirations to how to color, uh, you know, pictures. And you can use this inspiration on other pictures, not just the Camilla de Erica pictures. You can use them on other uh, manga pictures, actually. Gorgeous. Pools of color. She's amazing. This book is amazing. Melting Rainbow. So looks like we're getting some lessons here for several of these pictures. So I think the hardest part um, is going to be drawing. <laughs> drawing the actual um, image so that you can paint it. Combining cuteness all. You know, so... Tentacles. It's gorgeous. Cartoon and caricatures. So again, these are like step by steps. I love it.
I really like this book. I think it's well worth the money I spent. Black and whites paint drawing. Cool. How to paint straight lines, how to paint over the canvas edges. So that's pretty cool. She's giving a lot of different techniques. She's sharing with the world her technique. And I think that is so amazing to share that. My art evolves. How I learned to love painting, finding my creative home in pop surrealism. Wow. Information on being a professional artist, approaching galleries and getting started. This is awesome. Presenting your por portfolio, dealing with rejection, because we all will have to deal with that at some point in life or a couple times in life, dealing with rejection. Can be hard, but you can get through it. Validate yourself. Yes, I love it. I can't wait to read that. So this is, again, the um, pop painting by Camilla D'Arico, okay? The last book I have, and I'm not gonna do as a, um, like hanging on to pictures or holding um, the picture and frame that much because I wanna get through this book because this is the third book, um, is the Femina and Fauna, The Art of Camilla D'Arico. Cover is amazing. All right, so let's get through this one. Just, um, Gorgeous. She's so cool. All right, so we have the forward. Oh, so cute. Muffler. Oh, I don't know, guys. I might have to. Minerva. Oh, I like Minerva. Arachnia. Ooh, look at the way she did that. Mothra. Wow, I love the um, candy necklaces. I love how she added that into the painting. Innocent Eve. Box Hime. Wow, these are amazing. I like this book. Lions and lambs. She's a lionfish on her head. Okay, I promise I'm not, I wasn't going to hang on too long with you guys. Oh my God, I love all of these. The Weeping Swans. Wow. Dressed up disorder. I love how this, just this pop of red right there. That's so nice. see if I can find any that are in the books, but I probably not. That'd be great if this was the next coloring book. Images from this book. That is so cute. I love that. So guys, I'm going to try to see if I can find the links on Amazon for these books if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Um, I got these from Book Outlet and I was pretty lucky because they didn't have very many copies available. Um, so I grabbed them as soon as I saw them. I was like, what? And I don't know how I came across them. I'm always coming across something 
I'm thankful for that. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can find them on Amazon. I'm not sure if they're going to be on book, book outlet anymore because I think one of them was, it was the last actual last book. So, uh, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. I love their pouty lips too. <laughs> Pouty little girl lips. Okay, and then we have the black and whites. Nice. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's some inspiration for coloring the book. Not coloring everything, you know, leaving some of it black and white. That's pretty cool. Graphite and ink. Okay, so this is in the book. I know that one's in there. This is in there. Not sure of these. I colored this one. Atlantic City Boardwalk Con Exclusive. Cool. This I know. I think of this is in the book too. Playing in other sandboxes. Oh, sock banded is so cute. <laughs> that is too cute. The little dress up doll. Ooh, that looks kind of scary. Glow friends. Oh, you guys remember the glow, oh, glow worms? Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Tony Tony Lollipop. <laughs> this is so cute. I wonder if these, okay, these are, she's painting these. They look like ceramics or something like that. Wow, look at that. Octophyte. She's, get, she's getting some good work. This is for Disney. Created for Disney. Wow. That's amazing. So cool. Products. Oh, she's got bags, you guys. Tote bags. I might have to go check that out. Stickers, ballpoint pens, coasters, journals, print bundles. Oh man, I like the coasters a lot. Coasters, oh wow. Okay, so we have tote bags. Wow. Vintage plates, one of a kind. P printed vintage plates. Then we have enamel pens, compact mirrors. Oh wow, they're so, I love, this is so cute, a little watermelon bird. Oh wow, they have a limited edition eyewear. Oh, that is so cool. From coastal.com, I'll have to go check them out. Little bird scarf, designed and produced by Camila. T-shirt designs, oh man, the t-shirts are nice. I'm gonna have to go check that out, big time. Oh wow, this is nice. Painting process revealed, the creations of Aria. Oh wow, she's gonna tell you how she came to be. Here's her sketch. And it looks like she re ended up reversing the eyes. The eye colors. Oh, so cool. So, so cool. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and sitting through this with me. I know this is like a 30 minute video, <laughs> but I just wanted to share these beautiful books. And again, I'm going to try to find them in on Amazon if you're interested and put the links in the description below. All right, y'all till next time. Take care.